Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, we're doing a reading. I know everybody's been wondering, said no one. <laughs> but we have restocked our protection incense kit. Um, it's been out of stock for a good month, okay? Um, so we have it back, um, we have you, because we're changing the kits itself, okay? Like some of the parts of it. So this might be your last chance, okay? But we're going to have it, but in a different way, okay? So last chance. It's going to be a collector's items. Collector's items. <laughs> okay. It also has a how to use it. So for people who doesn't know, I use a protection every day. Like I say, smudge, smudge, smudge. Can scan sense every day. The other one, of course, love on a, you know Friday. Then you want your abundance on a Thursday or Friday-ish for the incense. Okay. Just to give you guys a heads up on when you when you use it. Okay. But can we talk about this side of the corner? On the corner is our lovely, um, uh, how do you call this? Uh, um, crystal diffuser, okay? Um, so it's available now in front of our website. You're gonna see it, okay? This is the Abundance Crystal Diffuser in Sea Salt. So I already smudged and tense it before you get ship it out, okay? No, really, I'm in the kitchen in the morning and I go like this, whoever orders, okay? It's like, okay, send you the blessing, okay? So, so do enjoy. There's love, protection. Each one has a specific crystal, okay? So instead of hating that I'm selling, how about you ask me, so how do you make your business like that? Exactly, right? Mm. You got your, you got your other people right there. Okay, I'll teach you a Taurus because a Taurus wants to know. One, you have to understand, are you determined to... Okay, so here's what I say. Okay. This is my mantra. Okay, I'll share with my mantra. My lately mantra. Um, some people, you know, they want to build family. Okay, some people, they want to live legacy. For me, I want to build an empire. And that's where my blood goes. That's where my fire comes through. An empire. And that's where I live. And for every day, I continuously have that mindset. An empire is what I what I am here for. Because I want to help the elephants. <laughs> I will go there and help the elephants soon. Okay? So help me with the elephants soon, guys. Magical sp uh, spell card. Okay? On the second week of April, I'll be dropping something for the elephants. Okay. Here we go. Courage. There you go. Do you know that your courage is your sun? Hmm. So wherever the sun is, you're very bold there. You're always giving in that house. Sun in the 11th. You uh, expect your money probably is not going to stay with you. <laughs> sun in the 6th. You're known to borrow money. Okay. Because it's a debt house. You always have no... Why do we always know money? Sell? Well, where do you want to have money? Put moon there. Because mm -hmm. sun is malefic. Moon is, moon is a buy. I call it bi benefic, bi malefic. Because <laughs> it's kind of dual, okay? <laughs> so, courage. Mm -hmm. Hold my hands. By shining brave and true and bright, my courage now returns this night. Love it. So, it feels like if you have confidence issue, let's work on the sun. Okay, get out, get more sunshine. Isn't it you feel good? You feel like you can take the day once you are lit with the sun and then the mimosa? Okay. <laughs> So you're on a weekend vibe. Yes, I am. Okay. So sun is the courage, right? Um, it is also the ability to be consistent. Okay. To be bold with what you do. So people who have good sun placement become successful. It just equates to that. And when you're successful, equates also money and finances. So ask yourself, where is your son right now? Not the one who hasn't come back home for the past two days. That's a different son. Okay. <laughs> That's a son of a... Mm, okay. mm. I'm more than Tarot. So, you know, don't, you know, if you just want to look for love, there's so many people who reads for love, but I'm here to teach different ways of manifesting a good life for you. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. And of course, to sell my product. Okay. You don't call me. I call myself out. I like to sell. That's my life. Okay. My life is not complete if I'm not selling. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Um... I'm an extrapreneur. I'm not an entrepreneur. Extrapreneur. Action. Okay. So you're being bold. Okay. But you want love. I feel like this is what you're leaning to. Angel of balance. Yin and yang. You want to be with your twin. Door to romance. You want to be with the person that you really, really, really love. Okay. So I was coaching you for coins, but you really want love. Then we shall go to the door of romance. So ask yourself then, where is your Venus place? 
because then you can make that Venus as an ascendant, meaning make that that planet, that house, the first house. Does it make sense? You have Venus in the second house. Then look what's surrounding Venus. Look also where Venus is placed, what house, and the seventh house Lord. Those are the things that can help you with your uh, with your love life. Okay. Of course, you have Scorpio seventh house if you're a Taurus ascendant, right? So then look at Mars. How is what's the dignity of Mars? Dignity meaning is it in a good position to give you something good? Okay. You have Mars in the sixth house and you have Scorpio in the seventh. That's not good. But Mars loves to be in the sixth, you know? But if you're in a in a connect if by you by being single, it should be fine. But when you get into a relationship, then there is friction and it always breaks out. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you know when you study chart you gotta learn who you are okay you're more than your sun sign okay but let's see here see this is what you're feeling right now okay it's so easy to predict love you know what's hard is coins actually it's a challenge <laughs> ace of swords so you want yourself right now to be um i feel like to be clear of anything that has hindered your growth okay you have a tendency right now you could be critical nakshatra which means the early degrees of taurus um and then late aries so we're really saying it's like this is it i'm determined i'm determined to finish i'm determined to finish my goal i'm determined to be a success i'm determined to be um good at what i do so you have this bright idea. This is travel. This is documents. This is a visa passport. This is getting your LLC, um, your corporation running. Okay, so you're sometimes love. You're sometimes business. Okay, um, but most of the time love. <laughs> Ten of Cups. So you gotta make up your mind, Taurus. Okay, for me, I always put one energy in one part of a house so that we can see the potential. Meaning. You can't be mixing love and then pleasure. You can go on vacation and at work, right? So do you want to be successful? Focus the energy first there. Accomplish that and then go for focusing on love. Then, you know, now that you're stable, you got the goods, you got a secure job, your business is running, then go meet people and date and then, you know, be there. Don't ever divide the energy. It will be difficult. Not unless you have some magical chart, then you can. But if it's not, don't. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups. And then watch yourself grow. You understand me? Mm. Some people want to have it all in one day. You can't, darling. You can't. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups. But you want it all. You want to be loved. You want to be in love. Because you feel like, Sal, I'm Venusian. I dream of love. Mm -hmm. So you'll be constantly dreaming and manifesting this person in your life. You really want this person, Taurus. I hear you. This person is far from you. Three of Wands. They're expecting to see you. Mm-hmm. Long distance relationship, foreign person, happy go lucky individual. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, it appears that um, they have things that they don't tell you, because there's the seven of swords. So while in front of you they may be waiting, there are parts of them that they might not wait for you. Okay, I'm not saying that you're not taking action. I feel like you know the truth about the connection, but this person is not revealing something. Seven of Swords. I don't know what that is. Okay. Six of Swords. So this is when you become suspicious and distant right now. Since they're not coming up with the truth and you kind of know something is wrong, um, you're now saying, like, eh, I don't want to talk. Nine of Swords. This is them wanting to talk. Ten of Pentacles because they feel like they're also invested here. They want something from you. You're in the dreamy side of creating a family and a home. They're in the side of the stability that you provide in the relationship is something that they really, really appreciate. Good. And they're willing to work this. I still don't know what they're hiding. I don't know what that is. Uh -huh. um, with the Three of Pentacles, they want to talk to you. It's like, listen, okay, this is something good. And you know it, though. You're the star card in Ten of Pentacles. You can't deny you want them. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands. Uh -huh. If you don't want them, I don't know who does. Okay. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> okay. Four of Wands with an Eight of Cups. You're asking this person right now to come through. Maybe you want them to relocate. Maybe you want them to change their job so that they can be with you. You want them to do what you want. Okay. 
at your bidding. If you want a relationship, then come here, be with me right now. Three of Swords. I told you this person is not telling you everything. Now you have Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. This person kept. Here's what I see. If there's any lie, probably that this person is not telling you, is that they cannot give you what you want. Mm -hmm. With a page of wands, the Queen of Cups, I feel like this person is crying themselves to tears, knowing that the love, that they love you so much. They're willing, okay, to give it all, but there's something that you want from them that that one is a hard no. I don't know what that is. It is a possibility that they are involved still. Mm -hmm. And they can't let go of that. There's a possibility. But with the lovers as your last card, what is it really? Because the two of you are like snakes around each other. The love is real. Everything is basically magic with the lovers. The soulful tie is there. You, you guys are intertwined. But with your last card, what is it really? Because the two of you are loving each other, but again, there's something that they're not revealing. I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below for extended, and I'll see you guys again. Bye. So it's toxic now. You'll find out they have someone. They'll come back. You'll come back. Six of Cups. You need to break this uh, heart.